Hi all, welcome back to the series of where we talk about how to type equations efficiently in Microsoft Word. So far we've talked about how to create a prefix shortcut to generate equations shortcut like this. For example, one with just the equation, one with number with some spacing, maybe one left aligned and command equal four, for example, that has an equal sign in the middle. So you can align any left hand side and right hand side equations together. So if you don't know how to do these yet to create shortcuts, for example, like command one to uh, quickly create numbered equations, auto numbered equations like this, um, check out the link in the description below. However, there are still a potential problem with these equations here, because if you, for example, if I type an integral like this, you see the equation is still in what's called inline mode. There's a difference between a display mode equation and an inline equation. A display equation, it looks like this, for example. So see if you can see the difference. The whole equation is more spaced out. For example, you can see that the integral is much larger and the, there's more spacing in the integrand in the middle. Whereas in inline mode, what is supposed to be is for you to type an equation in line inside a sentence. For example, this is an integral, and then I can do command equal equal, and then type an integral like this. So you see it makes more sense in line here. So everything is sort of squashed vertically a little bit more. But when you want it to be inside display equation, you might want it to be in display mode. But the way I showed you how to set up in the previous equations, these are all in line. Now, to be honest, for me, myself, I don't mind it too much. I actually quite like it in this mode. However, for many people, having a display mode inside a number equation is much more preferred. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, the strategy is going to be the same. So let me start a new page and show you over here. The strategy is going to be the same in two steps. Step one, first you create a template. And step two, you'll create a keyboard shortcut so you can call up the template every time. Just like all the ones before, I use, for example, command one. I've set up this template and then set up command equal one, sorry, to call out this template. Okay, so to create a template for the display mode equation alongside with the auto numbering on the right, we'll use a table. So we can go to insert table and choose a three by one table like this, then you're going to move the columns to each side like this. And especially on the right, you need enough space to put in your auto numbering. So put a bracket over here and insert a field code and go to insert fields over here. And then do it this way. Or as I like better is just to use the keyboard shortcut of command function F9 over here. So that would create a field code. Now this spans a two line, but don't worry, once you compile this, this should be enough spacing. So start with sequence as uh, SEQ and that will give you the auto number and then you need to define the name of the sequence. So let's call it equation like this. And then to compile this field code, use the shortcut function nine like that. And this follows because I think the last one I had was 10. So this follows directly as 11. A small tip over here is make sure the column spacing here is enough for maybe two or three digits because when this number starts to get to, let's say three digit wide, let me temporarily make this three digits we want to make sure there's enough spacing for it and it doesn't get sort of uh, cut off to another line like this when if you have more than 100 equations and we get to three digits numbers. Then in the middle part, you want to center align it. You can go to home and click center align or I can use my keyboard shortcut, which is the standard one, command E for center. And now you can just insert a standard equation template over here. So you can go to insert equation like that or as I've shown in previous videos, you can use a custom shortcut of command equal equal like this. So in this case, command equal is the prefix and then command equal equal brings up this equation or command equal one, command equal two, command equal three, equal four, like that will bring up a specific template. If you haven't seen how that is done, feel free to check out the link in the description below. And the final step is for making the template is to select this table and then make the borders invisible. So you can go to home and under here in the borders, just click no borders. So just a quick test over here, we can type an integral like this. And you see now this is perfectly in display mode. So you see that now the integral is in a display mode and not an inline mode if you compare to what we have earlier like this. Now there's still a little bit more to change because if you look at the numbering, this doesn't look very center aligned. So what's happening here is if I select the table, let's bring back up the borders, we see that this is actually aligned to align on top over here. And we want to change that, we want to have this more center aligned. So we can go to table design while your cursor is inside the table. Uh, so go to layout and click one of these options. So have it center aligned over here. I think having it right aligned and on the center is probably the best. And another small detail is you notice this, the lower limits in the integral A over here is a, it's a little bit cut off. Let's see what happens if I bring, if I get rid of the borders. It looks okay, but it potentially if you have a large multi-level fraction or uh, a big column vector, you may have a little bit cut off over here. So one way to remedy that is to change the paragraph spacing, just give it a tiny bit spacing over here. So you can go to format 
paragraph or you can use the shortcut command option M. Either way will bring up this dialog and I like to make it after, just make it one point after and click OK. So what that does is if I bring up the borders again, you see there's a tiny little spacing over here, so uh, it will prevent the equation from cutting it off. Okay, so we have our template ready. So let's go back to the generic template and I'll delete this equation and bring back up the general blank template. And now we're ready for the final step to create a shortcut for this template. So once we have this template ready, we're now ready for step two, which is creating, uh, giving this building block a name and creating a keyboard shortcut so I can easily bring this up with a shortcut every time. So first highlight this and go to insert and create on an auto text. So we'll go to uh, auto text and you see a quick preview over here. You don't see the auto numbering on the right because of the spacing over here. And as before, now you can just uh, give it a name. So as you can see, I have a couple of equation version already. I'm going to call this equation version six. So I will use a similar name as the previous auto texts or building blocks before. So I'm going to call this version six. And this time it's with a table. And I, I also have six point below. So I'm just putting a quick description in the naming itself. So just by looking through here, I kind of already know what each template is about. So now I just have to add. Okay, now I have added a building block and now I just have to insert a keyboard shortcut for it. So you can go to uh, tools and customize keyboard or use the shortcut command exclamation mark to bring this up. Either way, this dialog box would come up. Scroll down to building blocks and find equation version six that we just created. As you see, it shows up over here and create a prefix shortcut. So all my equation starts with command equal and then equation six like that. Okay, so you see that it's currently unassigned. So I'm gonna assign this and okay. All right, now we're done. So if I put a several spacing, now every time I put command e equals six, I will have this equation environment. Command equals six, command equals six, command equals six, like this. Okay, and every equation you type here, whether it is a big integral like this, you see that it is fully in display mode, not in line mode, or you have a big fraction uh, like this, you see that it expands, or if you have a big vector, you see that they're all in display mode. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. And if you have other topics you'd like me to cover of how to type equations easily in Word, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to support this channel for more similar videos like this and get notified whenever I post a new video, click subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to know whenever I have a new video on these topics. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.